Hi everyone, Chris Natsky here with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week on Facebook Live. Today I want to talk to you about a very important leadership principle, deja vu. <laughs> you know, you've heard about that being in a, one of the quintessential leadership principles. Deja vu, you know, the, the times in our lives when we're, we're present doing something and we get this amazing rush of a feeling like we've been there before doing the exact same thing at a time in the past. Now, you know, scientists will say that deja vu is something that about 70% of us experience at least once in our lifetime. And they're, they're a little bit uh, confused as to what causes it. Some on the more paranormal standpoint think it's all about intuition of things that are coming in the future. And some of them think it's just about our brain getting confused with the past and the future. And then also people who suffer from epilepsy actually have it on a regular basis as well. But what I want to talk about today, hi John, nice to have you join us. What I want to talk about today is how this deja vu impacts us on a regular basis in our life. And let me tell you what I'm thinking about, is how many times in our lives are we in a situation, either in a relationship, in work, in health, and it's the same difficulty that we've had happen again, and we've changed partners, we've changed jobs, we've changed places where we lived, but the same thing is happening to us. And we just sit back in frustration and say, is this really happening to me again? It happens to me as well. I mean, I think we've all had that experience. But the fact of the matter is, is that when we look at those experiences, regardless of whether it's relationship or job or health or whatever, there's one common denominator. There's one steady, constant stream that's been there at every situation, and it's us. That's the one common denominator. We were there, or we are there. And so what it says is that we have this ability, if we were there and we were creating it, if we create, promote, and allow everything in our life, then we also have the ability to discreate it or to create something that's better. And so that's what I want to chat about today because, you know, what I was recently exposed to is that we have this concept of deja vu, but there's also another concept that the French came up with, and it's called vujade. Vujade, and what that means is looking at the same thing that we've always seen, but looking at it in a different perspective. So the challenges and the hardships that we've had and we, we struggle against each and every day, we begin to transform how we look at them. And from that, that's where transformation occurs. And it makes me think about my favorite movie of all time. It might be one of your favorites as well. The holiday classic, It's a Wonderful Life. Now, in it, George Bailey, who's played by the uh, famous actor Jimmy Stewart, has been living a life for most of his adult life that's nothing the way he wanted to turn out. He wanted to travel the world, but he ended up having to take over his father's business. He's married, he has four kids, and although he loves them, he's always had this yearning to do something differently. And now, in the movie, he comes to a point where he's at his wit's end. But because of what he thinks is an impending financial crisis, he thinks he's going to be ruined. He thinks the scandal is something more than he's going to be able to overcome. The embarrassment, the legality aspects of it, the thinking he might even go to jail. And so he has an insurance policy and he, and he basically convinces himself that he'd be more powerful and it'd be better for everyone if he were dead than versus being alive. So at a quintessential moment in the movie, sorry about the spoiler alert here, but he actually dives into a river uh, in, in the dead of winter to end his life. However, there's somebody there to help him. It's his angel, Clarence, who has been assigned because they, he knows, God knows George is going through a tough time. And as soon as George goes into the water, Clarence dives in after him and he saves him. Well, the rest of the movie shows Clarence giving George a tour of what life would be like for all of his loved ones, all of his friends, if he had never been born an amazing gift. And he gets to see the struggle that people have gone through because his positive influence hasn't been in their lives. It's one of the greatest gifts you can give someone. And at the end of the movie, what ends up happening is, is he comes back to reality and now all the things that were problems, all the things that he was so worried about end up not impacting him at all because he's seen them through fresh eyes. He's seen them through his own vujade. So, what I want to do is share with you right now six things that I came about as I was beginning to think about how this impacts me in my own life. Hi, Tanya. Great to have you join me. 
uh, how it impacts me in my own life as well as can possibly impact you so that we can have our own Vujia Day and see things in a new light and have transformation and thrive in our own worlds. So the first one is, is to get clear about what's really happening. When we come against challenge, it's very, very easy for us to have an emotional reaction. And in fact, those emotional reactions are not at all bad. If you have something happen where you're angry, you're sad, you're distraught, it's okay to have those feelings. But what true leaders understand is we don't stay in those feelings. We allow them to express, but then we begin to look at things as they are really happening. Because when we take ourselves out of our story, now we're able to really use our innovation, our intuition, our intellect to take ourselves beyond it. So where do you have an opportunity in your life where maybe you're in a story right now to take a look at things as they really are? Uh, number two is accept things as they are. I know that for me, sometimes the hardest thing for me to do is to accept things. I mean, for me, being a natural athlete and competitor and fighter is when I see things that are, are in front of me, I want to just fight through them. But acceptance doesn't mean that we placate to something that's unjust in our life or that needs to change. All it means is inside of ourselves, we stop resisting it. We stop resisting it. Um, Byron Katie, I love her quote, she says, um, in life, um, I, um, I always lose uh, or, uh, when I fight something except 100% of the time. And I totally blew that quote, but when I fight in reality, I always lose, but only 100% of the time. So that's, isn't that true? I mean, how many times do we keep fighting things? So our uh, Vujia day might be that we just accept things for how they are, even if we want them to change. Number three is that uh, see things from another person's perspective. How many times in our lives are we at a, you know, at a stalemate with someone because we perceive their way of being, the things that they're saying, the things that they're doing against our principles? But think about the times in life when that's happened and then we've allowed the dust to settle and then we finally get together with those people and we realize that their intention maybe wasn't anything like what we had thought. Or we start to see their perspective of why they wanted things to turn out the way they did. It may not be that we agree with them, but at least we respect them and we look at it from their perspective. And like my favorite author Wayne Dyer says is that, would you rather be right or would you rather be kind? And the transformation comes in the kindness and the Vujia Day comes from our ability to see something from someone else's perspective. Number four is, what lessons can you learn from this? You know, I think life is a school, right? And even though the times in our lives that might be the most painful that we've gone through, after we move through them and we begin to look at them for what they really are, what we'll oftentimes see is that there are great lessons and great gifts. For me personally, um, when I uh, went through divorce, it was the most painful time I'd ever had in my life. But when I look back at that now, I could see that it was really necessary for my personal growth and development, my ability to be more self-sufficient. It impacted and strengthened my relationship with my sons as well as with my God. So was it a bad thing at all? Well, it was painful at the beginning, but man, what a gift it turned out to be. So my Vujia day with that was being able to reframe that and where do you have an opportunity to do that in your own life with your own struggles? Number five is what's a positive change that you can make? You know, if we can actually impact everything in our life, we create, we promote, or allow anything in our lives, then that also says that we can have a choice between being a victim or being a creator. So when we come against the challenges in our lives, rather than be victims to them, look at the perspective, shift the perspective, and see how we can actually use it for our own upliftment and growth, and what are the positive things we can do from that situation to make it better in our lives and those of others around us. And then finally, what can you be grateful for? I know when you're in the thick of things and when I'm in the thick of things, it's very, very difficult to find things to be grateful for. But what I found is there's kind of two ways that we can really move through these obstacles by using gratitude. And number one is, is that we just you know, look at things differently and find the things to be grateful for. But we can also just choose to be grateful even when we don't see it. And what ends up happening, it's like the, the two sides of the same coin. One begets the other. And so when we set that intention of being grateful for the challenge that we have, what ends up happening is it frees up our energy. And as a result, we can move through obstacles in ways we never had before. So there you have it, my friends. Think about how this impacts in your own life. 
Think about areas where you might be resisting change. You might be resisting obstacles in front. And how can you move from deja vu, which is repeating the same patterns over and over again in your life, and move to vuja de, where you can look at those things from a different perspective and make the changes necessary to take you forward. So there you have it, my friends. This has been Chris Natsky with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching. Again, if you enjoyed these messages, please comment, please like, please share, and make sure that you share them with people that you think might, uh, might gain some benefit from it. I always love having this time with you, and we will see you next time on the Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week.